Ever wondered how the ordinary turns extraordinary? From grains of sand to soap bubbles discover the hidden worlds under a microscope? Imagine holding a grain of sand in your hand. It seems so ordinary, doesn't it? But under a microscope, sand transforms into something extraordinary. Hmm. Each grain is like a tiny time capsule, a unique piece of Earth's story. Some grains are jagged and rough, formed by volcanic eruptions thousands of years ago. Others are smooth and polished, shaped by relentless ocean waves over centuries. Then there are the colorful ones, pink, green, or even black, made of minerals like garnet, olivine, and basalt. Under magnification, you'll notice that some grains of sand sparkle like precious gems. This isn't just dirt, it's a collection of fragments from mountains, coral reefs, or even ancient shells. You might even come across microfossils, the remnants of tiny creatures that lived millions of years ago. Every grain tells a story of erosion, transport, and time. The next time you're at the beach, take a closer look at the sand beneath your feet. Ants are everywhere, marching in neat little lines carrying loads much heavier than themselves. But what happens when we zoom in on these tiny powerhouses? Under a microscope, ants reveal a world of armored complexity. Their exoskeletons are not just tough shells, they are intricately designed with ridges, grooves, and plates that make them look like miniature knights in shining armor. Their heads are particularly fascinating. You can see their compound eyes, made up of countless tiny lenses, giving them an almost alien appearance. Their mandibles, used for cutting, carrying, and even fighting, resemble sharp jagged pincers, a testament to their multitasking prowess. And those tiny hairs covering their bodies, they are sensory tools that help ants detect vibrations and navigate their environment with precision. At first glance, a ladybug gently resting on your skin might seem harmless, even cute. But zoom in, and a whole new world unfolds. Imagine looking at what happens when a bug leaves its mark. Under the microscope, the surface of the skin becomes an alien landscape. The once smooth texture transforms into jagged peaks and valleys, with a dramatic, gaping red crater at the center of the bite itself. The outer layers are ridged and cracked, resembling dried bark, while the deeper section glows with an ominous red, almost pulsating with life. This magnified perspective makes something as mundane as a bite appear dramatic, intense, and strangely beautiful. Under a microscope, teeth are far from the smooth white surfaces we imagine. Instead, they resemble rugged landscapes, filled with ridges, valleys, and tiny imperfections. The outer enamel layer, the hardest substance in the human body, looks like a mosaic of interlocking mineral crystals. These crystals shimmer under magnification, their translucent edges catching the light like frosted glass. The grooves on a molar, where food gets trapped, appear like deep canyons carved by time. Even the tiniest wear and tear on teeth caused by chewing or brushing creates microscopic cracks that look like fault lines on a map. It's fascinating how something so everyday can look so alien up close. What looks smooth and shiny from a distance is a completely different story under a microscope. A strand of human hair reveals itself to be covered in tiny overlapping scales, similar to the bark of a tree. These scales are what give hair its texture, and they shift and wear down over time. Hair dyed or heat treated takes on a rough uneven surface with cracks and breaks that resemble dried earth. Sometimes you might even spot a tiny split end, which under magnification looks like a tree branching into two. The structure of hair reflects its history, revealing the effects of our daily routines on something we barely think about. The tip of a ballpoint pen, viewed under magnification, is a small but extraordinary piece of engineering. The tiny metal ball, often less than a millimeter in diameter, sits snugly in its casing, rotating smoothly as it dispenses ink. Under a microscope, dried ink residue clings to the surface, forming intricate patterns like tiny rivers frozen in time. The metal tip itself shows fine scratches and wear marks from contact with paper, each one a record of words written, notes taken, or doodles drawn. It's incredible to think that such a simple object is so finely tuned to perform its everyday task. Switching from ink to graphite, a pencil tip under the microscope offers another surprising view. The graphite core exposed by sharpening looks like layers of stacked plates, each one smooth but fragile. Tiny fragments of graphite cling to the wooden casing, creating a textured contrast between the soft black and the rough, fibrous wood. If you look closely, you'll see faint grooves left behind by the sharpener, spiraling around the tip like miniature tree rings. A pencil, so basic and ubiquitous, is transformed under magnification into a work of layered craftsmanship. 
When you sprinkle salt or sugar on your food, you probably don't think about their structure. But under a microscope, each grain becomes a tiny masterpiece. Salt reveals itself as perfect cubes, their sharp edges and transparent surfaces resembling miniature ice blocks. Sugar on the other hand takes on a more chaotic form with irregular jagged crystals that sparkle like shattered glass. The contrast between the two is stunning, one orderly and geometric, mm. the other wild and unpredictable. What's more fascinating is how these forms reflect their chemistry, with salt composed of sodium and chloride ions and sugar being an organic compound. They may seem ordinary but up close they are beautiful examples of nature's design. Dust may seem like a nuisance but, under a microscope it's a fascinating mixture of tiny particles from your daily life. Human skin flakes resemble thin, translucent shreds, while pet hair appears as smooth tubes with subtle color variations. Threads from clothing look like miniature ropes with fibers twisted tightly together. Then there's the occasional pollen grain, a spiky or spherical structure that looks like an alien artifact. You might even stumble upon a dust mite, tiny, eight-legged creatures with a slightly terrifying yet captivating appearance. Each speck of dust is like a snapshot of your environment, capturing a microscopic world you never knew was there. A single drop of pond water holds an entire ecosystem. Under the microscope it transforms into a bustling metropolis. You'll see paramecia, their oval bodies propelling through the water with cilia that resemble tiny hairs. Rotifers whirl their wheel-like mouths creating mesmerizing currents as they feed. Then there are the diatoms, delicate algae encased in ornate glass-like shells, their geometric designs reminiscent of stained glass windows. Occasionally you might spot a water flea paddling its transparent limbs, its internal organs faintly visible. This drop of water is no longer still, it's alive with a complex web of microscopic organisms, each playing a role in a hidden aquatic symphony. Jumping spiders are small, but their eyes under the microscope are astonishing. Their main pair of eyes, positioned at the front, are large and glossy, like tiny black pearls reflecting the light. Surrounding them are smaller eyes, each strategically placed to provide the spider with nearly 360-degree vision. The hairs around the eyes are equally fascinating acting as sensitive detectors for vibrations and movement. The exoskeleton under magnification reveals a textured surface of grooves and ridges, adding to their almost robotic appearance. These spiders are not just hunters, they're equipped with some of nature's most sophisticated visual systems, allowing them to stalk their prey with incredible precision. When you think of fleas you might picture an annoying pest, but under a microscope they're a marvel of nature's engineering. Their bodies are covered in a tough exoskeleton complete with rows of tiny spines and hairs that help them navigate through fur and feathers. The legs though, are the real stars. Under magnification, you'll see how their powerful hind legs are built like coiled springs, perfectly designed for launching them distances hundreds of times their body length. The claws at the end of their legs are sharp and curved, ideal for gripping onto hosts. Their flattened shape isn't just for squeezing through fur, it also allows them to withstand incredible forces during their jumps. As we move from fleas to something as delicate as ice crystals, the contrast between strength and fragility in the microscopic world becomes even more striking. Ice crystals, viewed up close, reveal nature's innate precision. Each crystal begins as a tiny water droplet freezing into sharp geometric patterns. Under the microscope, these structures resemble miniature sculptures with intricate branching shapes called dendrites. No two ice crystals are alike because their growth depends on tiny shifts in temperature and humidity. Their edges are razor-thin, catching light and creating tiny rainbows of refracted colors. Some look like delicate feathers, while others form hexagonal plates or needle-like structures. The symmetry is mesmerizing, almost otherworldly. And yet, these fragile wonders exist all around us, even in the frost that forms on a windowpane. From these frozen forms we transition seamlessly into the intricate beauty of snowflakes which are, in essence, ice crystals elevated to an art form. Snowflakes are tiny masterpieces that begin as ice crystals, but their journey through the clouds shapes them into something unique. Under a microscope, each snowflake reveals a stunning six-sided symmetry, with arms that radiate out like spokes on a wheel. The complexity is breathtaking. No two snowflakes are ever identical, a fact that makes their intricate designs even more impressive. Some snowflakes are flat and plate-like, while others take on branching, tree-like forms, each shape a reflection of the conditions in the atmosphere. The edges of these crystalline wonders are so fine that they seem to vanish into nothingness, yet they remain strong enough to hold their delicate forms. 
moving from snowflakes to the textures of human skin, we continue exploring how even the most familiar things can become extraordinary under the lens of magnification. Our skin, especially on our fingertips, is far more complex than it seems. Under a microscope, the smooth surface you see every day transforms into an intricate landscape of ridges, valleys, and pores. The loops and whirls of fingerprints, used for identification, reveal fine details you'd never notice with the naked eye. Tiny sweat glands look like small openings scattered along these ridges, while the texture of the skin appears almost leather-like. The microscopic view shows us how resilient and sensitive our skin is, built to endure daily wear and tear while enabling us to feel the lightest touch. As we zoom in even closer, moving from the flexibility of skin to the solid structure of fingernails, we discover yet another fascinating layer of the human body. Fingernails may seem like simple, rigid coverings, but under magnification, they reveal a surprisingly intricate structure. The outer surface appears smooth to the naked eye, but a closer look exposes tiny scratches and grooves, evidence of our daily activities. Beneath this surface, the nail is composed of tightly packed keratin fibers that look like overlapping shingles, providing strength and resilience. At the edges, where the nail has grown and been clipped, the layers are more visible, showing the fibrous nature of its composition. Even the cuticle, often overlooked, is revealed to be a protective barrier with a complex texture. Transitioning from these solid yet delicate structures to something granular and earthy like coffee grounds offers another captivating contrast in the microscopic world. Coffee grounds are more than just the byproduct of your morning brew. They are a world of their own, under a microscope. Each ground reveals jagged, uneven surfaces that resemble tiny shards of volcanic rock. Some fragments are smooth and flat, while others are porous, with holes and cracks where oils and water once flowed during brewing. The darker roasted grounds have a shiny, almost glassy appearance, a result of the caramelized sugars in the beans. When magnified, you can even see the tiny pockets that release the aroma we love so much. The incredible detail in something as simple as coffee grounds reminds us that even the most ordinary things can become extraordinary when seen up close. A honeycomb is more than just a storage structure for bees. It's a natural feat of engineering. Under a microscope, the precise hexagonal cells reveal perfectly straight edges and uniform angles. This structure isn't just beautiful, it's incredibly efficient, maximizing storage space while using minimal wax. The walls of the cells, though thin, show a fine texture, almost like ripples frozen in time, a result of the bee's meticulous work. Inside, you might even spot traces of pollen or propolis, adding bursts of color to the golden hue of the wax. The honeycomb's precision is a testament to nature's ability to create beauty and functionality. Plastic is everywhere, but under magnification, it reveals a hidden world of complexity. The surface of a plastic bottle, for example, might look smooth, but zooming in exposes a web of tiny scratches and imperfections from handling and wear. Some plastics show repeating patterns of polymer chains which appear as faint wavy lines or grids. Others reveal tiny air pockets or irregularities from the manufacturing process. The colors too take on new depth with pigments appearing as clusters of microscopic particles. Unlike the natural perfection of honeycomb, plastic structure reflects its man-made origins. Efficient, but flawed. Cheese, under a microscope, is a textured marvel shaped by bacteria and time. The tiny holes you see in some cheeses, like Swiss, appear as vast caverns under magnification created by gases released during fermentation. The surrounding matrix is a dense network of proteins and fats, with occasional crystals of calcium lactate, which add a surprising crunch in aged varieties. Soft cheeses reveal an entirely different story, creamy and smooth, with microscopic pockets of moisture trapped within the structure. The surface, especially of ripened cheeses, can appear almost alien, covered in tiny mold spores or bacteria that contribute to its flavor. From cheese's microbial artistry, we shift to another staple of the table, bread where air, yeast, and flour combine to create a fluffy, microscopic masterpiece. Bread is a staple in nearly every culture, but its structure under a microscope reveals the magic behind its fluffiness. The spongy texture of bread is a result of countless tiny air pockets created by yeast during fermentation. These pockets, when magnified, appear as irregular caves and tunnels, their walls thin and elastic, made of gluten proteins. If you look closer, hmm. you can see starch granules embedded within the dough, some broken down during baking, creating a soft, pillowy crumb. Crust, on the other hand, transforms into a caramelized layer of sugars and proteins, appearing cracked and glass-like under magnification. 
This contrast between the airy interior and crisp crust makes bread not just a comfort food, but a microscopic masterpiece. Velcro is one of those everyday items you barely think about, but under a microscope, its ingenious design comes to life. On one side are tiny hooks, sharp and curved, almost like the claws of an insect. On the other are soft loops, which appear as delicate, flexible fibers. When the two sides come together, the hooks latch onto the loops, creating a secure hold. This design was inspired by burrs from plants, which naturally cling to fur and fabric in a similar way. Over time, the hooks can wear down, becoming blunter and less effective, which is fascinating to observe in older Velcro. It's a perfect example of biomimicry, where technology takes cues from nature. Tears might seem like mere droplets of water, but under a microscope, they transform into stunning crystalline art. Each type of tear, emotional reflex or basal, has a unique microscopic pattern. Emotional tears born from intense feelings often display jagged, branch-like formations resembling frozen rivers or fractured glass. Reflex tears triggered by irritants like onions or smoke tend to form smoother, more uniform structures. Basal tears, which keep our eyes lubricated, reveal yet another texture, delicate, overlapping layers like the rings of a tree. The salts, enzymes, and proteins in each tear contribute to these incredible designs. It's fascinating to think that something so fleeting can leave behind such intricate beauty. Coins may seem uniform at first glance, but when viewed under magnification, their surfaces reveal a story of history and handling. The tiniest scratches, dents, and nicks become vast canyons and ridges, showcasing years of use and wear. The engraved details like dates and designs blur over time, creating soft edges that speak to their journey through countless hands. On older coins you might find patches of corrosion where oxidized metal spreads in crystalline patterns across the surface. Dirt and oils from human touch cling to the metal, forming a textured layer of residue that adds even more depth to their story. Each coin, no matter how ordinary, becomes a unique artifact when seen this close. Under a microscope, sandpaper transforms from a simple tool into a dramatic, jagged landscape. Each grain of abrasive material looks like a tiny shard of volcanic rock, sharp and angular, bonded to the paper backing with a resin that appears like a glossy sea holding the grains in place. The spaces between the grains form deep valleys, essential for trapping dust and debris as the surface works. With use, these grains wear down, their sharp edges rounding off, creating a smoother and less effective surface. A new piece of sandpaper looks almost menacing, a collection of crystalline peaks waiting to grind down material, while an old piece appears weathered, its rugged efficiency diminished, but its story enriched by the tasks it has endured. Blades are symbols of sharpness, but under a microscope, their edges tell a different story. What seems razor-sharp hmm. to the naked eye often reveals tiny imperfections and serrations when magnified. Even the smoothest blades, like those of a scalpel, have microscopic ridges and grooves that resemble the uneven edge of a mountain range. On everyday tools like kitchen knives you can see wear and tear, a dulling of the edge caused by countless tiny nicks and scratches. These marks tell the story of every vegetable chopped and every object cut. Some blades even have traces of residue like oils or food particles clinging to their surfaces. The fascinating detail of a blade's edge seamlessly leads us to another material shaped by use and wear. Glass, where scratches and cracks reveal their own hidden world. Glass is often associated with smooth, flawless surfaces, but when viewed up close, its imperfections become strikingly visible. Scratches on glass appear as deep, jagged lines, often with branching patterns resembling tiny lightning bolts. These marks, formed by years of use or accidental impact, can catch and scatter light in unexpected ways, creating iridescent streaks that dance across the surface. Cracks are even more dramatic. Magnified, a simple crack can look like a network of rivers cutting through a barren landscape with sharp edges and splintered branches. These flaws, while seen as damage, reveal the fragility and strength of glass in equal measure. That's about it. Write in the comments which image seemed the most unusual to you. For more useful information, watch other videos.